Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Evans Garage. Today I'm going to be adjusting the shift linkage on Old Blue. So the symptoms that I'm having is sometimes when I'm driving and the truck's in the drive position, it will tend to pop out of gear back into neutral. Uh, so I'm going to go through, adjust the shift linkage to the factory service manual procedures and show you how that's done. Okay, so the first thing it says to do to check your adjustment is to try and start the truck in uh, the park position or in the neutral position. If the adjustment is correct, it should start in the park in the neutral position. I'm suspecting it'll start, it'll still uh, start in both positions uh, and it just needs a fine adjustment, but we'll see what happens here. So truck starts in park, just fine. And we'll go to, uh, we'll go to neutral. That's where neutral is. We'll tr try and start it again. Okay, so it starts just fine. Now let's try and start it in drive. It shouldn't start for the neutral safety switch. Same with reverse, it doesn't start. And then below drive as well in one and two, it won't start. Okay, all right, so um, according to the factory service manual, it says that you know it's okay if it starts in park and uh, neutral, but the, the problem here is uh, my truck is still popping out of gear back in a neutral, so we're gonna check the adjustment anyways and make sure it's good. First thing we have to do here is shift our transmission in fully into the park Deaton uh, in the truck, and then it says to raise the truck, but we got a four-wheel drive truck here, so I'm not gonna raise the truck, and then uh, head underneath the truck. Make sure to put a chalk under the wheel before you head underneath the truck, so that way uh, it doesn't roll away if you put it in a neutral. All right, so we're under the driver's side of the truck now. Uh, this is where the shift lever uh, kind of mechanism comes down into this adjustment screw and then it runs in here there's a shaft that goes across and then there's a shaft that comes across here and then mounts kind of into the side of the transmission um, what you want to do now is check the condition of all the bushings make sure not, things are not too loose um, the, the whole kind of design is a little bit janky here and you know there's quite a bit of play on this bushing over here it seems as well as on this corner you know things can kind of move freely quite a bit your shift mechanism comes down here there's the shaft it's welded to this other kind of lever that comes off of it and then this rod that goes goes back all the way to uh, the parking pawl i believe it's called on the transmission uh, just up here the end of the rod that uh, controls which shift position the transmission's in all right so take a half inch socket and loosen this adjustment screw off and then what you want to do is make sure that this is kind of sliding freely freely on that lock screw before we make any adjustments so now with that uh, adjustment screw loose you want to come back to the uh, valve body um, shift lever here and make sure it's in the park deaton so that's all the way to the rear of the transmission so with this adjustment screw in the loose position um, we can adjust this all the way back and make sure that's fully into the seated into the park position. So I'm going to push that back as far as I can with my hand here and make sure we're in the, the park position. Okay, so now that I've verified that this is fully seated in the park position, um, I'm going to come back here and kind of just have this sit naturally of where it wants to sit. It looks like it kind of went um, maybe up on the rod a tiny bit. We'll tighten this back down and then that'll be our adjustment set. We'll uh, try and start it in park in neutral again to confirm uh, that it's uh, adjusted correctly. Factory service manual states to uh, tighten this adjustment nut down to, or this adjustment bolt down to 90 inch pounds. Okay, so I've verified that the truck starts in park in neutral. Um, one thing I'm doing now is I've just put the truck back into um, neutral and I'm verifying that the Deaton is fully seating um, or at least feels like it's seating while I'm going from um, uh, neutral, reverse, and uh, drive. It's in drive there, back to neutral, and then reverse. So I'm kind of just checking to make sure it's not sitting in between two detents. It's neutral, and then fully into drive. Neutral, reverse, neutral, and then back into drive there. So it feels like it's fully seated in the Deaton's. Uh, the adjustments with the neutral safety switch start in park and neutral. Um, so we should be good to go for our adjustment. We'll go for a test drive to make sure it's all working and it doesn't pop out of neutral anymore. 
All right, so the problem I was having before, um, I'll kind of test here, is basically when I was under a bit of a load or like, you know, kind of high throttle from a, a stop position. So sometimes I'd be in a stoplight starting from, you know, park and, and kind of just taking off. And then when I was in the middle of the intersection, it would pop in a neutral. So what I'll do here at the stoplight is I'll, I'll take off um, from the park position here and kind of give it give it some pretty good throttle and make sure that it's not kicking kicking into neutral here And there we go, it just did the same thing Dang it So that's weird. I don't know why it's doing that so I think I'll What I'll do is I'll move it a bit more. I, I have a hard time believing that the uh, it's popping back in a neutral when I'm doing that because I kind of, you know, I fully confirmed that it was sat into the Deaton. Okay, so what I did here now was I adjusted it again um, since it was still popping in the neutral. What I did was when I put that shift uh, Deaton back into park, I, uh, I kind of gave it a little bit of slack. Um, so instead of being all the way back into the park position, I gave it a bit more slack towards uh, towards reverse for the Deaton and then uh, that way it was taking up the slack a, a bit more so when it's in the drive position um, it's kind of it feels like it's more engaged so I'll show you here in a sec um, I'll get to here so there's park reverse neutral and then drive is a, a little bit more fully engaged so let's give it some throttle here. There we go. That was like half or three quarter throttle. And it didn't go into neutral there. That's good to see. Awesome. So that little fix worked. Uh, hopefully this helps uh, if you're having the same issues or if you want to adjust your, um, your shift linkage. And stay tuned for the next one. Say bye, Earl. Bye, buddy. <laughs> Big yawn.